Starting torque decreases quickly as bearing lubrication films are established, but the need for torque increases with increasing speed due to the power required to drive the axial flow compressor. When the gas turbine startup sequence is initiated, the overrunning clutch of the hydraulic ratchet mechanism clamps onto the output shaft of the torque converter. Successive forward strokes of the ratchet rotate the output shaft in a series of turns, each measuring about 40 degrees. This provides sufficient torque to overcome the static friction in the turbine and to break away the turbine rotor. The starting motor is then turned on and the torque converter fills with lube oil. Power is transferred from the motor-driven impeller to the turbine wheels and the output shaft of the torque converter. This forces the gas turbine rotor to begin turning at a few RPM. The starting system accelerates the turbine to purge speed. The unit remains at purge speed long enough to exchange three to five times the exhaust system's volume of air. This eliminates the danger of explosion from any combustible gas mixtures that may have been inside the turbine. After the purge cycle is completed, the torque converter is drained and the turbine coasts to an appropriate firing speed. Draining the torque converter hydraulically disengages the turbine wheels from the impeller. Thus, there is no need for a mechanical clutch. The torque converter is refilled with lube oil during the firing sequence. The adjustable guide vanes are opened fully, allowing the torque converter to develop its maximum speed and torque. In this way, the starting system assists the gas turbine in accelerating to a self-sustaining speed.